Hi, this is John from Photoshop Web Classes, and this tutorial kind of goes with the last one. And this is how to replace clips in the timeline and to use the replace feature in the timeline when you want to replace a clip. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So first of all, I have a timeline here. And let's say with this clip here, I want to replace it with something else, okay? So I'm going to take this clip here. I'm going to make an endpoint. And then I'm going to make an outpoint here. And I want to replace this clip right here. So I'm going to take it and drag it. And you see when it lights up, you get the plus sign and I let it go and I get this menu that comes up and it says replace. So what it's going to do is replace that clip with the new one. And it'll either pull in the timeline, depending if the clip is shorter, or it'll make the timeline bigger, depending if the clip is longer. So it actually replaces one clip with the other. Okay, so I'm going to undo that. Now let's say that I want to replace a clip I want a clip to start from here, this peace sign. I'm going to hit an in, okay? But I don't care where it ends. I just don't want to move the timeline. So if I drag this clip in here, I get the plus sign. And this time I say replace from start. And what it's going to do is take the start of my clip, my in point, and it's going to start the clip right where I told it to start of the peace sign. And it's going to go to however long that other clip was. So it's not going to move anything in the timeline. And it's not going to pull anything in. Everything stays the same. You just replace the clip at the same time. So another example, if I take that out, let's say I wanted my clip to end at the piece signed. But I don't care where it starts. I don't want to move anything in, inside the clip. So I'm going to hit X to get rid of those marks. And I'm going to say... Right here, I want it to end. So I hit an out point. And it doesn't matter if I have an in point or not, because when I hit that out point where I want it and I drag it here and I drop it, I get that menu replace from end. So now it's going to take the end of where I marked the out point and replace the clip. And wherever that clip stopped in the beginning, my new clip will stop too. So it sort of figures it out itself. Another way that you can replace is, let's say that I have this shot here. Uh, let's say I have this whole big shot here and I, I go in and I, I wanna go all the way to here. So this shot is probably longer than what I have in the timeline, but I don't wanna move the timeline. So I wanted to fit it by speed. So if I drag the clip again down here, I get the plus sign and I drop it in. I can say replace with retime to fit. Okay, so what it's going to do is going to replace this clip and it's going to make it fit by speed. So what it has done, I'm going to turn off my skimmer for a second. What it has done is it sped up the clip 226% to make it fit into that clip, but it did not move anything in the timeline. So if I play it, it should be a lot faster. And there it is, it's a lot faster. So that's how you replace things in the timeline with the replace feature. Also, you know, you only need three points to make an edit. And I want to mention this in the last video. You know, you can make your ins and outs here or you can make them out here. So for example, if I make an in here and I make an out here and I want to do some B-roll, but I don't want it to go past here, I would only need an in point um, in my clip. So let's say randomly I would take this as my in point. Okay, and I make an in. So now that I have an in and out here, it's going to look at this out point first and it'll ignore this out point here. So if I do a connected clip, you can see that that connected clip goes right to the out point where I want it to. So I didn't need to mark an out point here because I marked it here. So you only need three edits to make a clip. So that was a quick tutorial on using the replace and maybe three point edit. And I hope that helps you all out. And uh, subscribe or like if you want and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.